defense attorney, Leslie Abramson. Humorist, Harry Shearer. Conductor, Zubin Mehta. And commentator, Lawrence Otis Graham. And now, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher! Oh, thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, scandal stuff in Washington just is more perturbing uh, by the day. Now, Newt Gingrich, did you hear this? Newt Gingrich said that the Democratic fundraising scandal is worse and bigger than Watergate. And then he asked for a volunteer to uh, break the bad news to G. Gordon Liddy. <laughs> yes, the, the Republicans want to appoint an independent counsel, but uh, there's a problem because of uh, Whitewater and uh, Paula Jones and Filegate and Travelgate and Newt Gingrich with the scanner, uh, all the independent counsels are already booked. Uh, <laughs> And they have to settle on a retired security guard. It's very sad. <laughs> oh, no. Please. That's, that's not from the heart and barely from the hand. Anyway, <laughs> now here is some sad and uh, bad news. They found, again, children are exper experimenting with uh, drugs more than ever, which is not a good thing. And uh, they're trying to scare the kids out of it now. Uh, they're using, as an example, Kurt Cobain, and they're saying to the kids, if you don't watch out, you could marry someone like Courtney Love. They're, they're saying... Oh, here's, um, <laughs> well, here's a controversial issue. In uh, Newark, New Jersey, there's a play that's going, that's being put on uh, about the life of Jesus Christ, and it's played by a black guy, and people are protesting this. Uh, I don't know why, but they say it's not, uh, they don't like it. And, of course, the play does have a sort of a black point of view. Uh, the, the black Jesus says he was raised by a wonderful woman, but his father was never around. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then he turns water into Colt 45. It's just, it's not a good... It's called Jesus Christ Superfly. I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen... Well, finally, <laughs> uh, Avis, rent-a-car, you know Avis? I'm sure we've all used them, fine cars. They are in trouble. They are being sued and accused of discriminating uh, against Jews now. Uh, they say it's all a big misunderstanding. It's just uh, they had a promotion <laughs> which said free upgrades and a country ham to all our uncircumcised customers. That's all it was. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming. It's all been satirized for your protection. Panel. First, he is a corporate lawyer and the author of Proversity, Getting Past Face Value and Finding the Soul of People, Lawrence Otis Graham. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this one. Nice to see you. Hey, Lawrence. Okay, he is the bass player for Spinal Tap and the voice of Mr. Burns on The Simpsons. Now he's filming The Truman Show with Jim Carrey. Harry Shearer. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> nice to see you. It's not the Olympics. He is the music director of the Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra and the American Youth Symphony. He's also conducted the three tenors maestro, Zubin Mehta. Thank you very much to be here. And finally, she's an attorney, a legal affairs commentator for Nightline, and the author of The Defense is Ready, Leslie Abramson. Thanks for holding it up all that. How are you, I'm great, I'm great. <laughs> Hello, Maestro. Maestro, exactly. Maestro, well, the best. The I'm best. glad uh, you're all here. Uh, the thing I want to talk about tonight is the media and the justice system, because 
I'm getting a little angry. And you no. called a musician to discuss that? <laughs> yes, because you're a... We want some <laughs> rational, good, sane good. person here to talk about. Exactly. Well, B, you could probably give us... as the, You're the only one who probably has a biased view of this. Um, oh, I looking don't know. At you. Yes, I, I am. Know. Well, you I know I think I'm very objective because I'm so knowledgeable. Ooh. <laughs> well, since I'm a lawyer, too, I'll balance this off here. Okay? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. We'll, You're we'll a try lawyer to bring too. some balance. Well, have you been following what's going on in the Tim McVeigh case? Now, this newspaper, the Dallas Morning News, printed a couple of days ago his conf the confession, confession of Tim McVeigh, which apparently is not so. Uh, and, you know, whenever the media gets involved like this, they always say the public has a right to know. And the question I want to ask, basically, is why? Why does the public have a right to because know? About it's very simple, because Geraldo needs a rating. Oh, uh, yes. And <laughs> there you go. You the public if, has the right to know because we, we look to the media to give us information and why do we want them to unilaterally decide but, to sit on that information? I mean, they've done everything they possibly could with regard to protect Timothy McVeigh. They've already moved the venue from Oklahoma City to Denver, Colorado. The oh, that'll do it. So we, that's why we heard about it in Los Angeles because moving the venue makes yeah, a difference. Yeah, but still, the judge has told the jury pool not to watch television on any issue about this, not to read articles on this issue. So what, what are we going to do with the jury? Put them in a biosphere? I mean, wait, what, wait, what wait, 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 you're missing the point. You're completely missing the point. The public does not have a right to know what they're not entitled to know under any circumstance. Otherwise, we could be bugging the confessional. The well, public then, has a right to know what people are saying to their priests, for heaven's then sake. Then step on the this First Amendment, then, the a, right of free speech. I would the, like to step on the First Amendment, since I've had the First Amendment stepping on me for years and years. Well, it's the, Dallas Morning News didn't steal the information. Dallas Morning News did Dallas not steal the information. Dallas Morning News received stolen property. So they knew. According to who? So How would you know? No, no, no. Let's talk about the Pentagon yes. Papers belong to the citizens of this country because it's a government document. This is a private paper which they truly believe was the confession of someone about to go to trial in a death penalty case. They knew that it was privileged. Let me finish. They knew that McVeigh didn't give them permission to have it. Stephen Jones, his lead counsel, didn't give them permission to have it. So they received a stolen document. We don't okay? know that it's stolen. It's we absolutely do not, stolen. We, we don't know that oh, it's no, stolen. Oh, no, how did they get it? Jones gave it to them? Well, the, the morning news is always saying that they came about it through legal means. Nonsense. And we should... Well, well, someone brought going, it to them who they knew was not authorized to give it to them. How could and they, they get it, it legally? It how had could to, you possibly get it through legal means? It had means? to come over maybe the it's been Maybe it's been passed through by somebody who's working on the other side. On the, on the other side the, doesn't have it. McVeigh, the McVeigh it. people are already saying that they had the information and they said that it wasn't well, even a confession. Well, doesn't it make a difference that it was point. a hoax? I mean, no, either way, I think it was obnoxious. Do you believe it's true? No, I believe it's a hoax. So the public has a right to know a hoax? They don't have a right to know a hoax. Yes, they certainly do. They absolutely do. They do not. <laughs> When you think First of, of all, what the they media has exposed, as a what the media they has exposed in our society, if we don't allow the media yeah. to expose the the the, 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 the well, then they should be in the confessional. You can but make the, the exact same argument that the public has a right to know everything about everybody's business. They should be able to bug our bedrooms and listen to our pillow not, talk. It's not an they issue shouldn't of be able our, to eavesdrop on the you confessional. You criticized Geraldo earlier. I mean, when I look at Geraldo, I mean, I, I wasn't thrilled with all of what he did with OJ, but at the same time, I look at some of the things that he revealed that were going on at Willowbrook. I mean, if it wasn't for the media going in doing exposés. Willowbrook? I, mean, I was in eighth grade when they were doing <laughs> this. You were in Willowbrook. Really? But still, it's, it's the media oh. letting us know what's what? going on. Why oh. should we let them unilaterally decide? Oh, they don't decide. tell us what's but going this, on. They tell us their impression of what's going but this on. Is a, this is an isolated court trial. Doesn't that make a difference? Shouldn't the trial be over? NBC had a movie, a TV movie, about those two kids in Texas before they've even had the trial. Oh, well, that's very common. TV movies before the trial are very no, no, common. No, this was the first time they had it before. They had the Amy Fisher thing after she well, was in jail. Well, sometimes it takes public outrage from the, from the public to say, this is an important issue for us, like the John Bonet Ramsey case. People are sitting very quietly, very passively out there in Colorado, letting this very wealthy family sit back and not speak out about this issue. What do you mean, what kind letting of... them not speak out? Everyone has a right not to speak out if they're accused of a crime. Yeah. Well, you they, they have, have not been well, accused even of a crime, more so. part of the problem. We're Why all should waiting. They? Why aren't they? Well, I'll tell you what, Lawrence, when the police come to your house and say, we'd like to talk to you about what we have in mind, I'm sure you'll go ahead and talk to them, but I wouldn't. I've got a right to remain silent. So do they. And we don't know anything factually. Everybody talks about that case, and we don't have any information about well, it. Well, we do have it's some information. It's all rumor and speculation. That the parents were dressing her up like an 18-year-old tart, and they should be arrested <laughs> for that. Well. <laughs> all right. I have to take a break. We'll come right back.
Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, brought to you by Midas Auto Systems experts. If you're planning to be in the Los Angeles area and would like free tickets to Politically Incorrect, call 213-852-2655. Okay, we were talking about justice in the media, and I was, uh, in my view, I think that people in this country and the media feel like justice has an obligation to be our entertainment. So it seems. It's so, sort of like bread and circuses now. Yes, exactly. And you well, the recent events have led us to this. It never used to be that way. No, there were always cases. Don't you think there were always... Uh, Imagine the monkey trial every day seen in England and Australia would have been a bigger trial, probably. I mean, the monkeys didn't play their own instruments, that no. trial? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was the Millie uh, Vanilli trial. No, you mean, you mean the Scopes trial? The Scopes yes, trial. Scopes yes, trial. right. Well, or, or even the, uh, the fugitive trial, the Sam Shepard trial. I mean, there have been other trials. Well, that, that was a trial. case ruined by the media and reversed on appeal because the media had poisoned the jury pool. They were active in court. I mean, that Actually, was so amazing. What do you amazing. want the media to do? Disappear? I mean, we wouldn't know half of what we know. I don't want the, the media to do anything place. but stay out of my business, you know? I don't mess but, with yeah, their business. But where do you, well, you draw do. the line? You go on Nightline. It <laughs> that's not messing with their right. business. That's I mean, helping them. You lawyers, the justice people, use the media. In the, you mentioned the John Benet Ramsey case. They are using the media. So they want it both ways to smoke well, out. Lawyers, always, I think you've lawyers, be... always, lawyers are like car radiators and drunken sailors. They love to leak. And <laughs> right, and the, I don't know. <laughs> and the media, the media in you know, the Ramsey, one -liners, wait a second. Just to be the, serious, the media for a in the one-liners don't help people understand. They anything. do on this show. Now, um, <laughs> well, that's all you got, Bill. The, um, no, I mean the, the lawyer, the defense, Stephen Jones. I never leaked. Stephen Jones in the in the um, McVay, I didn't even McVay drip case has, has had a has had a press conference a day since uh, the case right. moved to Denver. The O.J. Simpson uh, defense attorneys had press conferences virtually on the hour. The one way to stop this is not to grouse about the media, but to do what Judge Fujisaki did in the O.J. Simpson civil trial and slap a gag order on the participants, and right. then everybody shuts I up. I think that's fine. So long as you throw the camera out of the courtroom, then it's fair to slap a gag order. I'm all in favor of it. What's the matter with the camera? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So the, the commentators can talk and misconstrue things and misstate them and falsely represent them, and then the lawyers who actually happen to well, know the facts, they can't say anything about it. Ultimately, the only people I don't think that's fair. When did lawyers give a damn about the facts? Oh. <laughs> and ultimately, the... When did, when did you or Geraldo give a when damn you, about the facts? You defended the Menendez kids. What do you care about facts? <laughs> Ooh. Seriously. And you, I didn't remember seeing you in the courtroom, Bill, so you absolutely don't know anything about the facts. I know they blew their parents' heads off. No, they didn't. <laughs> and they, they reloaded. Didn't. They didn't blow their parents' heads off. The Menendez kids didn't blow their parents' heads off. No. Stab them? No. What? Well, stab them? Where have you been? I don't know. My goodness. Wait a second. What did they do? They, they uh, unloaded shotguns in their direction, but they didn't blow their heads off. Leslie, let me ask no, you one a, a question. Fact, is, a fact is a discernible truth. Let me ask you one question. Well, Leslie, this is why we need... Let me ask you one this factual question. I don't want to die of cyclamate poisoning. This is why we need... Let me ask you one factual question. Did they reload? No, they didn't reload. What okay. not one of them. One of them Leslie. reloaded. All right. You know, it does make a difference since I represented the one who did not reload. Okay. Of course. Now, what, now, what is the distinction? You're saying they, they shot in the direction, but they didn't... No, no. I'm saying they didn't blow their heads off. You said did they blow their heads off. No, they didn't. Their heads were still on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the direction was wrong. In fact, they didn't blow anything off. About this but if you point clean. a shotgun at someone and pull the trigger, obviously it's going to cause damage. That's what shotguns were designed to do. You know, I, I'm sorry, I don't see why. This I'm... woman is crazy. She is really crazy. I can't believe that don't you... Don't call me crazy. You, you, don't call you me are crazy. crazy. You I'll tell you what I am. You object I'm to cameras Ooh. in the courtroom, and you can make uh, remarks like that. I mean, cameras remarks in the courtroom like what? can actually... They didn't blow their heads they off. They didn't and everything blow their heads intact. off. You don't I mean, care whether a fact is, is accurate or a total fabrication. Well, why don't we just do, say... Why don't we say they blew a five-inch hole in their chest? They killed That's them. That's just they as big a lie. Them. That's what the issue well, that's was. a different issue. If you want to say they killed them, yes, they killed them. That's right, Bill. She's got you. You were arguing you about not, the location of the chest. Would you like to retract your statement, sir? All right. 
You're I, part of the problem. Ooh. I'm part this of the problem. This is part of the problem of why people don't understand what's going on in our courts or the distinction. Oh, don't that patronize me, please. Well, do not patronize how can me. I, I not patronize law somebody years. who laughs at the idea of people being killed? Laughs at the idea. But you're Leslie, making a mockery you must, of your own you clients. No, I'm not. You certainly no, I'm not. Were. They didn't blow their but, heads but off. But Leslie, you No, I'm not. You're making a mockery of being a lawyer. You obviously have no loyalty to anything but your own celebrity. But my own. Yes. I didn't realize I was one. I'm sorry. You, you, well, you're trying very hard. supposed to be making a mockery? Isn't that the idea? What's wrong? But you must understand that people out there watching this are saying that this woman is not making a, is making a distinction between things for which there really is no distinction. Of a distinction. Which is what they hate lawyers for doing. Is that these, these two... There is a distinction. There is a distinction. You were talking... This, what is the distinction? The distinction? What, is really, this was what does it really this matter? This was about fact. It really matters what facts are. Truth really matters. They killed so them. So when you, but that's a different issue. If you no, said they killed them, I would have agreed with you. What does it matter if but, they blew their heads off the and blew their issue hearts that out? Because you <laughs> they, used the, they didn't do either. You used the phrase "blew their what heads off." What did they blow? Wait, 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 what did they blow? So he's not supposed to see exact it has nothing semantic. to do. You know, my story has nothing to do with being a lawyer. It has to do with wanting to inflame uh. the public by using hyperbolic language by bringing up grim images, whether they're real uh, or not. Or it using words to distracting the, the public law with semantics, words like you're using. Okay. The law uses Did they blow no anything? All right, I, I, I have to take a break. I wish I didn't, but we'll come back. <laughs> Okay, uh, <laughs> we were having a mild, pleasant discussion about law, <laughs> but uh, we thought we'd take the heat off you and lawyers for a minute and talk about conductors. Now, uh, the heat on poor, poor Mr. Now, Davis. the Menendez kids could not have gotten off without, or, you know, they didn't get off. They didn't get off. They got off once. No, they didn't. Well, they had to quit, whatever it was. They... <laughs> See, facts. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, right. They couldn't have done half as well as they did without you. Oh, I'm pleased to hear it. They only got life without parole. Imagine what they would have done with someone else. <laughs> My goodness, could have been bad. <laughs> yeah, but you're talking to amateurs here. That's the thing. But, I mean, look at the hand you were dealt. They blew their parents' heads off. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Well, let's not you don't want to do that. You don't want to go no, there with that one. And your no, I, said you didn't want to uh, do that there's anymore. There's my big... I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Distorter. Um, <laughs> right, they, they shot in their direction. What, whatever it was... <laughs> Um, <laughs> but uh, people who commit dastardly crimes need a lawyer. Now, how many orchestral musicians would like to blow off the head of a conductor? Is your segue? <laughs> 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 no, He's good. trying to right? get there. He's trying to get there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you've or got your back. You've got your back in the audience. The public doesn't I mean, matter. The public doesn't God, see me. You'd never know it was coming. But uh, <laughs> but uh, what I what I I mean, like I'm just a layman. Uh, I'm no culture vulture, and I don't know really what goes on. But it seems to me that you know, if you had a heart attack in the middle of the symphony, they'd go on playing. De it depends which symphony. Really? Yeah. I mean, symphony. do, do they really funny. need you, or is it a big scam? No, if it, was... right. <laughs> it looks like a big scam to me, I, quite honestly. And I'm—they're not it, even looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, they are. Are they? Oh, oh yes, yes, they, they are. are. Really? No, a good musician has the conductor's rhythmic impulse always in the line of his uh, vision, always. Mm. Um, but if you sometimes they are very busy. Sometimes the conductor lets them alone. But if it's the middle of the Rite of Spring by Stravinsky and I fell dead, the musicians would stop playing, believe me. Oh, that's as ridiculous so as what she like said. So it's not like directing a play where... <laughs> what? You want... Now, I'm the professional like she was. You want me to react the same way? No, sure, I'm... strangle her, <laughs> yeah. yeah, kill her. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean they'd stop playing? Wait, they were what just... would happen to you, Bill, if that gentleman over there who's your executive producer didn't exist? You think the show would just... Happen because you're well, so cute well, and so charming. To. But it would have to happen, like a director of a play. A play has to go on. The director is not out there telling the, the people to hit their mark. Well, the director's not standing the director's in front of the actors. The director's not there, not involved and in they're saying, now you go there, and that's been but pretty they, 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 It's they, different. They, they would lose mean, their sense of tempo within yeah. like five seconds. That's a very uh, it hard depends piece. which piece, piece it is. If it's a piece by Vivaldi or Mozart, even, or a Bach, which is rehearsed probably, it could go on, sure. 
it could go on. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you, a few years ago, we were in San Sebastian with the Israel Philharmonic Orchestra playing in a basketball arena, oh. and all the lights went off completely. <laughs> and we were in the middle of a Dvorak symphony, and the orchestra finished the movement by itself in total darkness. Wow. You can do that that. And I didn't lose my nerve for a second. <laughs> well, that, ma well, that <laughs> makes my point. They couldn't even but see, I, and they no, were no, playing. No, no, no. I said, it depends on which piece. Oh. If it the, was a complicated... You no. had the glow-in-the-dark baton, didn't you? Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got to take a break. We're late. Nobody we'll be right back. Very loudly. All right, tomorrow we're going to have Annie Potts, Tom Hayden, Jeff Cesario, and Kyle Thomas. Now, to wrap things all up in one big package, the Meister just told me you live right near O.J. Simpson. <laughs> and that he was a wonderful neighbor. He was a very good neighbor, yes. What does that tell us about human nature? What does that tell us about Brentwood Park? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> you mean this is a rough neighborhood? Nothing.